Well, Thanksgiving is six months away, but during a pandemic, it seems like a good time to be thankful. So why wait? I'm thankful for truck drivers and other shippers who are so underappreciated, but yet so essential. You know, a few weeks ago, some of us ran out of toilet paper, but thanks to our wonderful freight haulers, Charmin soon returned to the shelves and a grateful nation says, thank you. I'm thankful for the retail workers who have loyally and patiently stocked the shelves and guided us in and out of the checkout lines. We've taken you for granted for a long time. We should never do that again. I'm thankful for first responders. I know they signed up for hazardous duty, but they didn't see a pandemic coming and they've had to deal with tornadoes too. If we ever get the economy straightened out, they should be among the first to get a raise. I'm thankful my insurance company realizes that I'm driving about 90% less than usual, so they're giving me a 15% rebate for April and May. I realize the math doesn't exactly add up, but at least it's something. And ordinarily, I'd be thankful that gas prices are so low that I haven't needed to buy any gas for like two months. I'm all gassed up with nowhere to go. I'm thankful that there is practically nothing in my calendar for the rest of the year. I mean, I have some daily deadlines for radio and TV work, but no appointments. For the first time in my life, my dentist canceled on me. Usually it's the other way around. Of course, I'm leaving out numerous folks for whom I should give thanks. Let's face it, if you're one of those people who helps protect us, patch and build our roads, heal our mind, body, and spirit, keep our medical facilities clean, maintain and repair our utilities, help put food on the tables, help keep our land beautiful, work with those who are less fortunate, or volunteer in any way. I'm thankful for you too. Let's hope this is a once in a lifetime thing. Next time, maybe I can stand here and say, I'm thankful the Braves are back.